Hello everybody, in this video I want to do something called pay it forward. I didn't have the best childhood growing up and for different reasons I ran away when I was younger and I had to have some friends help me grow up a little bit, find me some food, accommodation. Um, this video is about homelessness. Now in Swindon, my town where I live, there's quite a lot of homeless, homeless people for different reasons. Um, last night I was out doing my usual nighttime photography, got some really cool pictures of some car parks and whilst I was in the car park there was this homeless lady on the side just asking for spare change. Um, I gave her a little bit of change that I had, I didn't have a lot, probably about 30p so and I walked off and then I went with my pictures and that was really cool which is on screen now. Um, as I come back down the stairs um, I approached the lady and said look I'm really sorry I didn't have a lot change earlier but if you want I can go out and go go and get your Tesco's meal deal and she was very grateful so I dashed out to Tesco's but what struck me was I asked her was there anything else that she would need and um, she said I just, want, I just want to brush my hair Bear in mind it's half past nine at night, all the shops are shut apart from Tesco's, the small Tesco's where I live and unfortunately Tesco's didn't have any hairbrushes so I managed to get the lady some food and um, I asked at the end, I said look, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable but I'll take an urban photography but can I please take your photograph, it's nothing dodgy, I just want to just capture the moment and it really would mean a lot to me. So she, was, she said, that's fine, yeah, no worries. And we chatted a little bit. I took a few pictures. I put them on screen now. The next day, I put them on my social media, saying these are the urban pictures I did. And the pictures of the homeless girl um, was tweeted. I tweeted it, I mean, and it got reflagged um, by the, uh, a friend of mine who said, come on, guys, let's help this girl. And so I had a notification saying, great pictures, thank you for highlighting the homelessness in our town. A couple of messages to and, through, to and from other people. I'm now going to be helping this girl and helping the Swindon charity called, I think it's Homeless, Homes, Hands for Homes. Apologies if I got that wrong. I'll leave the link below. And so I'm meeting this woman tonight to see if I can help their charity by taking pictures and making a promo video for them. Um, so it highlights the urgency of support that's needed for the homeless people in our town. Um, on a side note, this car coming. On a side note, the girl that I did pictures for last night and I was chatting with her. I did. I do. Wed, I do wedding and event photography. I do photography for a hairdressing salon, a ladies' hairdressing salon. So I messaged the owner today. So I've got a massive favour to ask. Can you please help this girl? Just give her a makeover, make her feel fresh. Um, so she come back and said, yeah, that's perfect. Now, the girl don't know this. I've come back to the car park tonight. Um, no camera. I'm just going to talk to her to say, are you okay? Was the food all right? Um, I'll ask her about, does she feel comfortable on camera? And I'll explain the surprise that I have for her. So her reaction, you'll see if she allows it. If not, I'll talk to you afterwards. So. I know she is in the car park because I can see her around the corner but I'm going to give this a go. So I really want to do well and pay it forward to everyone that's helped me to, other, to help other people and then they weigh and when they're strong in their feet they can help others so it's called paying it forward so here goes. Okay so I'm in the car park now, I'm with Gemma. Gemma's just kindly allowed me to film this for her. So Gemma has now seen the pictures that I did last night. So here's Gemma. Say hi Gemma. Hi. Hi. So first of all, what did you think of the pictures that you saw? Really cool. Okay. And it, has it made you too upset? No. No. And for whatever reason you're homeless, I don't need to know or you don't need to devolve that. that that's personal and I wouldn't ever ask you to, to, to say that. But I wanted to highlight to Swindon um, and yes you are homeless for whatever reason but you're not a waste of space or a bum or mm. whatever so I just want to make this video and show the journey now I have a surprise for you she doesn't know what a surprise is yet and um, so this is my little pay, paying forward comment as I, as I said earlier in the video and after I've, I've left you I'm gonna go and meet another person 
and um, get involved with that charity. What's the charity called again? Helping Hands. Helping Hands. I said it wrong earlier in the video, so apologies for that. So Helping Hands, and it helps, I'm assuming the Swindon, I don't know, local homeless people. So I'll be doing pictures for them and helping make a promo video for them. So I, Gemma, do weddings and events, photography and videography. And now I do hairdressing and uh, promo stuff for this wonderful company in town, um, for a beautiful salon in town. So I manage, and I've spoken to the lady who runs it, who I do pictures for, to get you a fresh trim. Oh, brilliant. So I, um, I, we would arrange to meet up. Um, so she said, yeah, come along. Um, it's not too far, it's in Swindon, it's not too far. So thank you Tara, big loves, big loves to you. Um, so you. she's more than happy to um, make, you, make you look beautiful. Thank not saying you're not, you. but make you just feel a little bit more special. Feminine. Uh, a bit feminine, I guess, is the right, <laughs> is the right word. So, um, how are you feeling? Brilliant, thank you. That's all right. Don't, don't get emotional, it's fine, honestly. I, I'm just trying to sort of help help really like I, I, I came across you yesterday that sounds really wrong it wasn't like that um, <laughs> I stumbled across you yesterday and we got chatting and I just wanted it just to, to help if in any way I can like I didn't have the best start in life so I just went to pay it forward so oh, thank you so thank much you. oh that went really well she was really really humble about um, having the surprise so that's quite nice so we just had a long chat about her and her life um, so but She's had it shit. She really, really has. And she's had her children taken off her for different reasons. But I hope, I hope what I'm doing is worth it. Um, what I meant by that is I hope, I hope the help that she gets from the, what I'm doing to help her doesn't fall back in the vicious cycle of different reasons why she became homeless. If that makes sense. So I've left it to it. I'm now off to meet this lady, another lady. Um, who is running this charity, um, this homeless charity. So I'm going to meet her and see what I can do to help their charity with designing logos, posters for an event they got coming up and that kind of thing. And also um, start making their video, I guess, and their photography. So but I'll know a bit more when I meet her. So I should let you know how that goes. I won't film her because I don't know if she wants to be on camera. But I'll let you know. It's bloody, bloody cold, so I hope Gemma's going to be all right. So, speak to you in a bit, guys. I'm back home. What an eye opener. Oh my God. There's some people out there that need our help, honestly. Um, after I left Gemma, I went up to wait for. The people that I was going to meet to help them. I didn't know what to expect, didn't know who they were. There was a group of about 10 people, um, all got out of their cars with bags of warm clothes and warm food and um, drinks and flasks, uh, all for um, people. So introduced myself to the group and they introduced themselves to me and um, explain what they're looking for me, like do some pictures, make a promo video to help promote the charity. Um, so then we followed the group round, went into various car parks, uh, met a few people, gave them hot food to check they were okay, they didn't need any medical help. Um, it was just an eye-opener, honestly. I, I was a little bit, I stepped back, I let the organisers sort of donate the food, give them gloves, um, give them um, some, just make sure they were fine. And then I was introduced, explained who I was and why I was there. Some people were up for being filmed. Some people would not choose to be filmed um, for different reasons. They either wanted by the police, they don't want the shame of the family seeing them on the streets. It's just an just an eye opener it really really is and I'm going to do what I can to help even if I help one person i.e. Gemma um, I got on really well with her I sat with her for at least two hours tonight just chatting um, and she chatted with me and um, talked about life and stuff so um, but she loves a surprise so that was really cool so we're going to get that sorted out um, 
So thank you very much for the person who's helping me get that organised. So um, I'm going to join this group um, in a couple of days, bring my camera. Those that choose to be photographed will have some pictures done. Uh, again, for the charity to help promote the charity's Facebook pages and uh, social media, that kind of thing. So keep you informed and then I'll let you know how I get on with Gemma and her hair treatment. And she just wants to feel like a woman again. She just She's just had enough of the streets. And it's tough out there. It really is tough. Uh, just, but people donating um, lots of food, lots of blankets. Um, and the organiser, um, I forgot her name, I'm really, really sorry. She's amazing. She really, really is nice. So it really, really means a lot that um, I can help. I can help. So I'll be doing some posters designing and stuff like that so if I can help that's really cool I'm just taking it all back it really really is it's just kind of I can't believe there's so many homeless people out there that maybe I just walked past didn't really care have noticed and maybe I was naive and I shouldn't have been naive and I'm learning from that so if I can pay forward um, then I can now. I am freezing. You can see from, from my red face and my red ears and my cold hands. My heart. So I'm going to have a quick cup of tea. Um, just warm up. Um, and there's some wonderful people out there. There really, really is that, that will help. And I want to be a part of that. So, yeah. Yeah, just... Just, there's been a lot to take in tonight. It really, really is. So it really, really means a lot, guys, that you've watched this video. Um, I'll leave the link below to the charity if you want to go and check that out. Um, I'm not sure what you can do, um, whether you can donate. I don't know. I don't know how it all works. I'm kind of new to all this. But give some love. Leave some comments. It really, really means a lot. Um, Charlie, my cat's trying to get in shot there, so apologies for that. So, um, it just makes me feel grateful for what I have. And there's some people out there that don't have homes anymore, that living in tents on the streets, living in under car parks, huddled up, it's minus temperature up in Spindon today. And it's awful. It really, really is awful. So, like I said, if I can help, then I'm going to do it. I can. Right, guys. Love you loads. Everybody, thank you for watching. Gemma, I hope you're okay out in the cold. I'm going to get you looking really, really good. Um, and to all my new friends that I've made tonight through the charity, I'll do what I can for you. Big loves to you all. Lots of loves and respect. Take care, guys. Mwah. Good night. Are you ready for it? <laughs>